Hey there, Jim at Live Work Dream here, and we're going to see just how easy it is to replace an RV bathtub, or how difficult. Basically, you just need to remove the surround, and the curtain, and the plumbing hardware, and the drain, and then swap out the tub. First of all, Eternabond. It's a great temporary fix for cracks in the tub, but it does get ugly over time. So, let's see how this replacement goes. Okay, so my first suggestion is to replace the tub surround at the same time when you replace the tub because the uh, curtain is attached very securely with some double-sided foam tape there and it's very hard to get off and you want to make sure you don't crack it any worse than I have here and it's going to take a long time to clean up the surround and get it back on securely. Hopefully your RV has an easy access to get to the plumbing. That's the faucet there for the tub. And any drains we may need to access are underneath. So I saw this nifty trick for removing a tub drain. You basically insert some needle nose pliers and grab them with a adjustable wrench and turn. But that doesn't always work when it just breaks off the bars there that you uh, force the turning against. So we're gonna have to remove this drain from the plumbing in behind. So it's pretty tight under the tub here, but I'm gonna have to try and get that drain off by unscrewing the plumbing. If I can't do it from here, I'm gonna have to remove the insulation below and get to it from beneath. Removing the downspout's pretty easy. You just get to it from behind here and remove the plumbing. It's usually just hand tight. And then if necessary, put a wrench on the retainer ring there and unscrew that. Let's see if I can do that for you here. I've already loosened it. Take these off on both sides. You can pull the bust out from the other side. Okay, so I did find these replacement retainer pins for the tub surround. So I am not that concerned about saving and, and using the previous ones. But one trick I figured out is to use an old fork to get that fork in there behind it and just work that out gently so you don't damage the surround. And then you want to take a knife and again be very careful to cut that silicone that you have around the tub surround so you don't cut or crack the surround. Okay, another reason to do the surround at the same time. This adhesive at the bottom makes it very difficult to get out all in one piece, but uh, I was successful in doing so, so I'm sure you can too. Okay, I got most of the excess tape and caulk off of the surround and the wall, so it's time to reset the tub and replace the surround and the plumbing. Unscrewing the plumbing here allowed me to just get the whole tub out in one piece and now I just need to take off this drain part, put it on the new tub. That comes right out and we'll put the new drain in. I've got the new drain part and the old plumbing, just gonna insert it into the new tub. We'll get this all tightened up and it'll be ready to insert back into the hole. And then this will slide down and a screw back onto that plumbing part we removed. So my first major challenge was that the new tub didn't quite reach the ground. It got caught up on this board here that holds the tub in place, the apron there. And my option was either to rip this part and cut it down or just cut a piece of half inch plywood to fit as a new platform there. And that raised the floor up enough to meet the tub so it's good and sturdy in the bottom and won't crack apart like the last one did when we step in it. So I suppose you could find some of that nasty foam tape or some butyl tape to adhere the surround back to the tub, but I'm going to rely on good old Dicor lap sealant. Alright, got the surround back in more or less and we're attaching the shower curtain. The spool part of the curtain really just attached with that tape. So I'm going to use some more of that die core and then the tension of the slider rods will hold it in place. 
And there you have it. Brand new tub, drain, and faucet installed. Old surround replaced. Curtain reassembled. Fresh silicone caulk all around. Pretty much an all-day job this way. If I do anything different, I would just replace everything tub and surround at once, and I probably would have been done by lunch.